Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do an oil sump gasket change um, on the Mark 3 Mondeo. Um, if you like the videos, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and let's crack on. Right, so for this, you need to get your car in the air, drop all the oil. I'll put a link to how you can do that up here when I've done the oil change last week. You need some fresh oil. Uh, you need a 13mm socket, a 10mm socket, an 8mm socket. Um, and I believe it's a 15mm socket to drop the front flexi pipe down out of the way so you can get the gas, the, the sump down itself. Um, so I'm going to crack on, post the descriptions below of what tools you need, what oil, and where you can get it all from. The sump gasket is the aluminium type with the rubber seal in the middle. I will show you that. Um, yeah, so let's crack on, shall we? Okay, so the first thing you do when you're under the car is you've got to drop the front flexi pipe, 15mm here, and there's a 15mm over the back here. Okay, so you lower them so you can slide this out of the way. There's a two 50mm bolts at the back there holding the, the flexi pipe on. I could drop that. Let's see if they'll undo. Right, so with them two bolts removed at the back, you need the 15 you need the 15 mil here. This is the bracket that connects you to the bottom of the stump. And then you need to undo the 15 pipe, uh, the 15 mil bracket here that clamps it all into place. And then it should just pop out, slide down. So, are you catching this? Yeah, 15 mil here and 50 mil here. extension because this one is quite high up if you could if you could get your hands on a 15 mil deep socket that'd be ideal but if you haven't a normal 15 mil ratchet will do because these ain't normally done up that tight I normally give them a quick nudge to tighten them up because it, sometimes it cracks them off and then loosen them up like that so okay. once you go down so far you should be able to lower it by hand which I can do as you can see look I'm not able to do it by hand. So take that right off. Put to the side so you don't lose it. Okay. And then let's look at it. I need the camera back up so you can see what I'm doing. I need another camera. Seriously, I'm doing another camera. Okay, I'm gonna check this. Do you know what? It won't actually help being on a trolley that slides everywhere. See that? See that? I'm gonna look at it until it comes off here. Just bear with it, it does come off, see? 
Okay, it's the front of the car, the aircon pump. Okay, so starting with that, you've got bolt number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, and coming over the back, you've got number eight. Let's get a bit more light. Number eight, there. Number nine. Number ten is under here. Number eleven is under here. I want you to take this plate off. There's two stud bolts. It's 13 mil. 12, 13 now. Uh, no, sorry, that's 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. And the two bolts I was on about that holds it to the bell housing is this one here, right here, and this one here. Okay. Right, okay. With the front flexi pipe out of the way now, you connect to all the bolts and lower the sump. You've got 15 of these 30mm uh, bolts. The bracket here is held on with two 10mm bolts. Um, I'd recommend getting a trolley jack at that ready to put and post a bit of wood out here. So when you undo it, it takes the weight. Um, and I also recommend leaving the 30mm bolt here in place and one opposite it here in place um, for the last ones to undo. So then it gives you the support. To, you know you get your support underneath here and then you can do them bolts and lower it out of the way so you've got a couple of bolts here and here as well 13 mil bolts that go into the bell housing here um what i've done so i know where each bolt goes back in place okay i've got myself a bit of cardboard and numbered this is the front number one two three four and so forth i've also written on here where is it this end Sump plug, 15 mil for uh, torque to 25. I found the torque, so it's torque 25 newton meters. Sump bolts, yeah, the 13 mil, they torque to 26 newton meters. Just so I've got it at hand that I can keep an eye. So first things first, get your 10 mil. I've got a deep socket because it's on studs. Okay. Got a little extension bar and a 3 8 because these ain't done up all that tight. I've had this bracket off before, as you can see it's nice and clean. See? When I had it off last, I cleaned it all up. Right, so now you can reveal the two 13 mil bolts at the back. And because they're stud bolts, you, you're going to need a deep 13 mil socket. And so here's hoping these ones come out easy. There's not a lot of pressure on them, so they should just crack up. There we go. I'm leaving, uh, I'm going to leave this one in place and the one opposite. So then, like I say, when all the other ones are out, as I'm taking them out, I'm going to put them in that cardboard piece that with the numbers on, so I know where to put them back. Uh, I'm going to leave that one in place and then I'm going to put a piece of wood on the, on the jack to take the, the weight of the sump. And then I'm going to remove the last two bolts, lowering it out of the way. So, let's see if this one comes off just as easy. Should do, yep, yeah, there you go. Nice. Alright, so once you crack them all off, using a 3H drive on a 13mm deep socket because it's a stud.
Well, you can see all the back bolts here. So you've got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, all along the back. Remember, you leave this one in place opposite number 3. Okay, um, and then you get your, your jack underneath it with a piece of wood to support it when you undo them, and then you can lower it out of the way. So we'll start with undoing the bell housing bolt here, which is a 13 mil. That's the next one, two more to go. And for them two, they're on the outside here. So what I do is I, I move the camera so you can see them and I'm gonna get outside from underneath here and undo them. Right, I'm bolt there. I don't know if you can see my finger on that one, but we're gonna do this one first. Okay, and then the bolt right on, on adjacent to it. There's all the bolts. That's number one, two, three, so forth. You can see I've left number three and number ten in place. I'm going to remove once I've got this, the point in, the support in place. Get that.
So now you need to undo the front bolt, which is number three. Tell you what. Let's undo it with this one. What you do is you lower the jack down, and the plan is that it lowers the sump with it. The old gasket. Let's get that out of the way. This is what it was getting caught on. Don't leave this open for too long. So I'm going to get it cleaned up. Get rid of any old gasket. Get this cleaned up. And let's move on to that. That's the sump off. I'm just going to move this old gasket. Okay, and we're going to put this new one on. See, so it's got the aluminium bit around the edge, and then rubber it in the middle. This one hasn't. Right, okay. So now I'm going to remove. A gasket, the old one. Then I'm going to clean all the surfaces up because look, this is filthy. So I've got a rag, a bit of brake cleaner. Just going to wipe around all the edge. All the crap off. Got a bit of a blade here as well. under the car, I've got a cloth with a bit of brake cleaner on it, and all I'm going to do is just go around the edge and clean off the surfaces. Thank you. 
actually. So I'm going to get the sump, lay it back on here, and we're going to wiggle it up into place again. Okay. Right, okay, as you can see, oh, it's had a, a quick coat of paint. Um, I've got it up and I've got a couple of bolts in on the bell housing. And when you do it back up, you start with number one. And you work your way from number one, which is the one at the front, if you remember. And you work going round. The reason why I ain't painting the bottom bit yet is because um, I needed to support it. Um, one thing I will say is there's two gaskets you can get for this. There's the one with the aluminium which is what I was told was the right one um, I was advised by a, a car shop that that was the right one for me to get only to find out that it wasn't that in number 11 okay Might have a bit of dirt in there. That one's got in. You can feel it. Okay. What you want to do is you don't want to do these up too tight because I've only got to be done up to 26 newton meters of torque. 26. So. Grab my torque wrench, set it to 26 newton meters, just to show you that I do torque these up correctly. And I'm going to start at number one over here, the studs. Okay, so I'm going to use the short extension bar with a deep 13 mil on it. Okay. Pull it over. Make sure we're doing it up and not undoing it. Right. right. So you nip it up, but. Okay, do it in one swoop. One. That ain't. Yeah, see if that clicks. Yep. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to do up to 20 on each one and then. Do it a bit more. That's not the right way to do it, but it just feels like it's not tightening it. There you go.
the bracket back in. Don't forget to do that. And use the terminals on there. There it is. Okay, put your flexi pipe back in, and then you're done. Flexi pipe back in. Got 15 mil at the front, 15 mil here, and the two bolts at the back, and that's it. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Um, hope you like this video. Hope you found it useful. Uh, a couple of little things I'd like to point out is um, sorry for not showing you how I put the the new gasket back in. Uh, that's due to a certain motor factors actually selling me the wrong gasket. Uh, they said it was the right part for this car. Turns out it was wrong, um, but it turns out that this is the rubber gasket only, not the one with the aluminium, because uh, there's two types, one with the aluminium, which is now, I, I hope I've got this right, um, it's for preface. And then you've got the facelift, which is this model, and the final facelift, which them two last ones are a rubber gasket only. Um, so I've plopped it back in and put it all together. Uh, also, I'd like to mention, sorry I never showed you how to remove the two 15mm bolts from the flexi pipe to the exhaust on the front. That's a whole other video, I had problems with them, so I didn't record it because it took me a good couple of hours to edit and I try and keep my videos as short as possible. So as usual, cheers for watching, look out for that new video next week, I'm going to show you how I actually done it. Hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, look up in the card on oil changes, what I've done from last week. And um, thanks for the continued support. Uh, this is me over for this week. Cheers for watching, guys. Stay safe.